Um, okay. Uh, Cameron Otoku asks, is cannabis helping you for your pain after all these years working as a wrestler? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It helps. Um, it doesn't take away pain like, uh, narcotics will actually like take it away and I'll forget, you know, like, Oh yeah, I forgot that my elbow was hurting me, you know, for the last three hours because I, you know, took a, a Norco or something mm -hmm. with, with uh, cannabis, it's more like um, it allows me to cope with it. So if something's uh, bothering me um, and then I use cannabis, it might not bother me anymore. Like it'll still, I'll be, I, I will still be mentally connected to it and still be aware that it doesn't have as much movement or I can feel sometimes maybe the area is inflamed, like swollen or whatever, but I, but I'm more like, Oh yeah, that's right. You know, and it's not a big deal. So it makes it okay. Like, uh, just like with a lot of things in life, uh, cannabis really does a lot for coping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I'm an, obviously I'm a novice at all, all that stuff. Is there like a certain strain that kind of helps or how would you go about like recommending something like a, a particular I yeah, I, yeah. So um, it, basically, the the rule of thumb is that uh, indica is uh, sh a, a, a stronger kind of high that will numb you more. It's better for pain. It's also better for uh, like maybe stomach problems. Uh, oh. And, and but it can make you sleepy, you know, which it's also good for helping you sleep. And then a sativa is, is usually uh, it's considered like more of a of a functioning bud. And, um, you know, it, they, they say it can inspire creativity and give you energy and make you feel good. Um, and, and so mostly like I will keep that in mind. Like I don't like weed that I smoke and I just want to nap all day. Right, right. You know? um, and even as much, uh, even if I smoke a lot. I will still come across some that does that. Like that's just, it's too, it's too heavy of an indica for me. So I, but if, if I was hurt, especially if I was recovering from surgery or something, I would just be like, just give me indicas. You know what I mean? I'm in bed recuperating. I just want to numb uh, as much as I can and, uh, and not feel it and rest. So everything has its place with, with that, with timing and, and what, and what you're looking for. But most, uh, most, most strains seem to be like a, a hybrid. And so, you know, uh, usually for, for functioning and keeping um, ahead of the pain so that it's not bothersome, like a good uh, sativa dominant hybrid is something, you know, that'll uh, keep me surfing through the day, um, especially if I don't have like an injury that's really standing out. Yeah. So just like minor, like pains or whatever kind of thing. Yes, man, it's in my back. Yeah. Plane rides beat me up more than matches. And I've said that for my whole career. Like sometimes I'll have a match, a 20 minute match, go all over the arena. And that night I'm like, man, I feel really good. You know, I feel good out there. I feel great. Now, by the time I only get two hours sleep and then I got to ride an airplane and sleep like this, you know, for a couple hours. And then sometimes I have a connection and I have to fucking walk across an airport and get on another plane and do the same thing again. You know, by the time I get home, I'm usually pretty stiff that day. And I've always said that it's the plane ride that beats me up more than, uh, than the actual matches. And they're, and they're made like the way they curve, they kind of curve in yeah. it's weird. like the shoulders actually come in and it's like, I'm shaped the opposite. I have like an extreme curvature of my back that's, uh, um, you know, contradictive to being comfortable and, and something like that. I got to put like a big pillow behind my back and that's my only hope. <laughs> that's what, that was me fucking riding home from on spirit this past time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Feeling that headrest right. too. Like even in cars, I always wonder like, why do they have the headrest like come in like that? Right. You know, like I want to like straighten it out. If anything, maybe bend it back. Yeah, right. Use it. I'm not like gonna. Uh, I don't know who does that. Who puts their head back against the headrest <laughs> and just decides that's comfortable when they're driving? I don't know. But um, I when it's leaning forward, I'm like, hey, who, hey, can I someone do something about this headrest? You know, <laughs> in a car or on an airplane. Like, fuck, dude. How am I gonna be comfortable like this? Holy shit. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. 